So this is how I play Sea of Thieves Hourglass as a past dementia patient. The first thing I do upon waking up on the tavern like any good pirate is rush to the nearest barrels to grab some supplies. Then after voting down Athena Emissary, I grab some supplies in order to start my journey. Right after leaving the tavern, I immediately look for some supplies, because that's the first thing you should do when starting an adventure. Once I make it to my vote, I vote down the hourglass, vote to invade another ship, and then leave my boat again to grab some supplies, because I mean, you can't start hourglass without some supplies. Then of course I raise anchor and drop sails, in order to get my boat moving. In which, I immediately rush to grab some supplies, because I mean, I can't believe I forgot those, right? How else am I going to be able to fight? After sailing for a little bit, I finally dive down into the water. And while waiting for Q, I realize that I never grab supplies, so I quickly rush down to grab some. After grabbing supplies, I go up to my sail, which is the best place to be in order to be prepared for an hourglass fight. However, while waiting there, I realize that I never grab supplies, so I quickly rush down below deck in order to grab some. After finally getting a match, I rise out of the waves to face my opponent, only to realize that I never grab supplies, so after rotating my wheel, I quickly rush downstairs to go grab some. Once I catch sight of my opponent, I immediately go to grab some supplies in order to start this thrilling battle. My opponent quickly recovers and changes his direction, forcing me to alter my course. So I raise sails to turn around and then grab some supplies just to make sure I'm absolutely prepared for anything that this guy might try. As he begins firing at me, I brace for what is the first encounter of this fight. After disposing of our very rude intruder, I rush to grab supplies in order to counterattack and heal. The next step is to raise the mast, and once I finish raising it, I realize I never grabbed any wood, so I go below deck in order to grab some. I mean, how, how could I forget wood? Once the mast is repaired, I drop sails and continue with the battle. After I drop sails, I spot my opponent off in the distance, so I quickly go to grab some supplies in order to be best prepared for what might happen next. After that failed attack, I reboard my ship and catch it right before it sinks. And while trying to fix my ship, I realize I didn't have any wood, so I quickly grab some and make quick use of the hole. Once I get my anchor up and see that my opponent is behind me, I rush below deck in order to grab some supplies to heal my very low health. After healing, I realize I'm leaving the battlegrounds, so I hurry above deck in order to turn my wheel and raise my sails to make sure we don't sail too far out of the boundary and, you know, explode. After angling my ship back into the zone, I spot my opponent off in the distance coming across me at an angle. So I drop sails and then go below deck in order to grab supplies to prepare for what might be the last collision of this battle. As we slowly approach each other and shots start ringing out, my mast ends up knocked in the process. 
In order to repair it, I go downstairs to grab some wood from the barrels. And once the mass is repaired, I drop hmm. sails and begin barreling headfirst into my opponent's broadside. After killing him on his own boat, I scour to supplies because frankly I am in desperate need of anything because my inventory is completely empty. After being very rudely interrupted, his ship finally sinks. And I try to reach a mermaid as fast as I can, because I'm sure my ship is super close to sinking. Thankfully, I reach it just in time, and take out my bucket in order to repair after a successful- How could I forget the water in the bucket? How-